Sandish. By the way, this is a uh, I call this as an embossing art. Uh, you can do it uh, in any sort of materials like wood, plywood, sheet, or you know uh, any base of any sturdy material which are, which you can do it. So basically, our concept is we are doing a puja, uh, which is our form is to get uh, a puja stone will be like trying to get the stone effect with more of embossing. And also, uh, back side we have a canvas. So we have used the base as a canvas. It is pretty challenged because normally people doesn't try in the canvas because it becomes very heavy and raw. You know, actually, if you use light materials, it will not be very heavy. Um, this is a stretch canvas, by the way. You can see behind it's like stretch canvas, and the size is uh, it's, it's three by four. Uh, pretty flexible. You get in all art store the size and two mm of thickness of the beading. Uh, we use summer coats to carve this entire thing. Uh, it took us almost like six, seven classes to carve overall the you know the form to get the proper the proportion. And after that, you know, we use normal uh, uh, very little glue. It's like we use for uh, plywood sheets and all. The same the same sort of glue we have used for this. We use little water and we have uh, you know we have stick to the canvas. It took one day to get dry. So the best part is it's very lightweight. See, it's very lightweight, and it won't fall. It's balanced. Uh, based on the how you place in the center and how you form and proportion it, it's all work with that. And moreover, uh, the concept which we are trying to go with our is we need a lot of uh, earthy texture, like like you know wood, you know rock textures. So we use tissue paper for this. So we have again dipped like you know glue with tissues and we call this texture. And even the circular way of doing this also. Uh, you know how you do Indian style board uh, very same thing, chakuri or whatever. So you can do the same thing there. Uh, it's very easy to do and this is something like a roll three day. So our next plan is or our next vision is to focus on we never tried uh, using spray to get a rock texture. So we are using this called uh, gold acrylic. It's an acrylic spray. Uh, you get it in any art store, only art store, not in normal arts, you know, stationeries. This is a uh, uh, this costs around 550. All the you get all the color shades, all different color shades. You get a chart for this. You get different brands, but I prefer this brand is good. You can take a close shot with this. Okay, uh, so you can, whenever you start uh, sort of a spray, uh, don't go very close. I can show the different shape here. If you go very close, it will come as thicker. I don't go. Try to use it to distance with here and use like a swing board. You can already see my other two videos which I've used swing board. The same thing you can apply. The, the more you do swing board, the more it spreads all over the area. And you, you, you try to keep distance, if you keep more distance, you're going more far, it blends.